Good morning children. Today in social science we are going to study about industries and the social change there in Europe. Okay, from chapter Socialism in Europe and the Russian Revolution. So in our last class we studied about what our social changes happened there in Europe. Isn't it? A new idea emerged there in uh, Europe. And uh, on the basis of that, uh, the citizens were categorized into uh, conservatives, liberals and uh, radicals. So, like that, whatever changes happened there, whatever social changes happened there in industries that today we are going to study. Okay. It was also the beginning of the industrial revolution at the same time period that was the beginning of industrial revolution. Last class also I mentioned about industrial revolution that uh, started there in England. Okay, the coming up of factories. Before that, what is most of the people are using handmade goods handmade products isn't it uh, because of the invention of some new machines okay this factory system started okay that is what industrial revolution so at the same time when the idea of socialism emerged at the same time what also started that was the time for the beginning of industrial revolution men women and the children were pushed into factories for low wages the lower wage men women and the children they are working there in the factories and liberals and radicals that we studied about them yesterday so this liberals and the radicals who were factory owners and they felt that effort must be encouraged so that benefits of industrialization should be passed on to workers okay so the um, liberals and the radicals they believed that and they encouraged the factory system because men women and the children are working there in the factories so they encouraged that system why they encouraged that system they believed that the benefits of industrialization should be passed on to workers through this new system okay now we are coming to the socialism in europe the idea of socialism in Europe. See this picture. This is a picture of Robert Owen. A socialist had different visions of the future. Robert Owen sought to build a cooperative community called New Harmony in Indiana in USA. Okay, a great uh, what is person, those who uh, think about this new idea of socialism and then another person in France Louis Blanc wanted the government to encourage cooperatives and replace capitalist enterprises okay he is believing in what cooperatives rather than capitalist enterprises Louis Blanc okay the socialists were against private property. That is, now I am going to tell you some of the features of socialism or socialists. Okay, those who are believing the idea, ideology of socialism, they were called the socialists. The socialists were against private property and so it was, it was the root of social evils. Those who are believing the ideology of socialism, they believed that what the what was the root cause of all social evils private property and some believed in cooperatives just now we saw that isn't it Louis Blanc he believed in he was a socialist and he believed in cooperative system some demanded that government must encourage cooperatives okay rather than capitalism and then Karl Marx he was a greatest philosopher of social, uh, socialism and he was the 
uh, one of the eminent personality or a thinker in this new ideology socialism. Karl Marx and Frederick Engels added that industrial society was capitalist society. Okay, what they suggested if a society is following industrial system, they are what? They are capitalist. Okay, the industrial society was capitalist society. Okay, now you can see the pictures of Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Capitalism, uh, they wrote a famous book. Okay, you want to find out the name of that book. Okay, Frederick Engels and Karl Marx, they wrote a famous book. Okay, it was known as the, it was like a Bible. Uh, what is the Bible of Socialism, we can say that. Okay, all the socialist ideas they explained there in that book. Find out the name of that book and tell me. Okay. So, Max, purest thoughts. Capitalism would be replaced by a socialistic collective where all their equal in ownership and rewards of production. According to Karl Marx, how was the society a socialist society? Socialistic collective. All the properties are collective. And what are what is the speciality of that? In that such kind of society, all were equal in ownership. There were no private property. Okay. And the rewards of production. Okay. Whatever there is producing there in the uh, industries or whatever. Okay, who will get the rewards? The all will get equal rewards because all of them are, all the citizens are both owners of that industry or whatever form. Okay, so um, the, that was the max purest thought on socialist society. Okay, a socialistic collective where all were equal in ownership and the rewards of production. Then Marx believed, Karl Marx, he believed that a socialist society would free the workers from capitalism. Okay, the workers are free from capitalism. This would be a communist society. We can conclude uh, the such kind of societies. What is uh, this society would free the workers from capitalism? That is what kind of society? It's a communist society. And support for socialism. Socialists formed an organization called Second International. Please always remember this name. The socialists, they formed the socialists in Europe. They formed an organization. What was it named? Second International to spread socialist ideas. And the workers in Germany and England began forming associations to fight for better living conditions. See all this uh, process what is happening. The idea of socialism is growing. Isn't it? So first day, uh, the socialists they formed an organization. What was the name of that organization? Yes. Second International. See. At the same time, what happened there in Germany and England, there also associations were formed. For what? To fight for better living conditions. And they set up funds for members in distress, reduction of working hours and the right to vote. Okay. See, so these are the aims of those uh, socialist organization and the socialist workers. Okay. So... Uh, this is the today's topic. I uh, think all of you understood very well. And the next day we will study about with, uh, what the Russian Revolution. Okay. So before that you want to read uh, that portion also from your textbook. The Russian Revolution. Okay. It's an interesting area. So prior reading is important. You please read the textbook. And the today's portion also you want to read. Okay. And uh, now I will give you the questions and the please write the answers there in your notebook and send it to me through so, WhatsApp. Okay, write the question 
give any three features of socialism give any three features of socialism give any three features of socialism then why were the socialists against private property and capitalism why were the socialists against private property and capitalism then where and when was the first social government formed see your duty to find out that answer that's why i told you to read the textbook where and when was the first socialist government formed okay next question distinguish socialism and uh, capitalism distinguish socialism and uh, capitalism okay then distinguish between socialism and capitalism that you wrote okay these are the questions please write the answers of this question and send it to me today itself okay thank you have a nice day